the readings for today have me pondering on the benefits and the drawbacks of our technology that presents the Catholic faith to us today. Technology has really come more into the forefront since March. We're able to connect via so many different ways across the internet, through social media, through our Twitter accounts, following blogs, live streaming masses, and so forth and so on. There's so many voices out there that are proclaiming to us the Catholic faith. And we have to be mindful and truthful to say that not all of those voices are accurate and true depictions of the Catholic faith. We know from scripture, from the words of Jesus, that the weed and the wheats grow simultaneously. And we have to come to be able to discern what are the true spirits of God and what people and what resources out there that claim to be Catholic are really simply a spirit of greed or a spirit of pride. The people in Nazareth struggled with understanding who is Jesus, the son of Joseph, and what do his words mean to us? You know, in the first reading, you know, St. Paul is reminding the people, you know, he came not with these wonderful, beautiful, and eloquent words, but rather he came to proclaim Christ and Christ crucified. I would offer to you today just two simple things to help guide you in your discernment of what to attach yourself to, to grow in true holiness. And the first would be the providence of God, that God has left us the great gift of the church. And within the church, he has left us the great gift of apostolic secession in the magisterium, in the teaching of the church. And so trust in the providence of God that you find yourself living in this day and age, in this moment of time with Bishop Zubik as the shepherd of this flock. That is not a coincidence, but providential from the hand of God himself. But I know that you probably spend more time searching for things about our Catholic faith than just live streaming with the bishop. And so for others, I would say to you, and this would include when you think about how much you want to listen and believe my homily, spend time meditating and contemplating upon the humility of the person who proclaims to you Jesus Christ. If there's anything in the core of your being that doesn't resonate humility in that other person, be wary. Allow that flag to be an indication to you that perhaps something is amiss. For the Spirit of the Lord as Christ proclaimed in that you know, synagogue, as he read from the prophet Isaiah, wasn't a spirit of pride. It wasn't a spirit of you know, gathering people to himself, to give himself glory. But it was a spirit that went to the poor and proclaimed to them good news. It was a spirit that went to those who were oppressed. It was a spirit that touched those broken hearted and lifted them up. It was a spirit that went to those brothers and sisters in the greatest need and helped them understand that they are the beloved children of God. My friends, as you learn about the beauty in the joy of the Catholic faith. Always allow yourself to be guided by the spirit of humility. Go to those sources that 
go to the fringes of our society the feed the poor and clothe the naked think of the saints of our own time mother teresa and so forth those who are humble humble servants serving others and giving a word of proclamation to the world that teaches us how to love our brothers and sisters more dearly and therein as you scour all of the resources available to you on the internet find those sources that lead you into a deeper appreciation for the providence of God, the humility of God, the service of our brothers and sisters. And when you find that, you will truly hear the scriptures being fulfilled as wisdom enlightens your understanding. My brothers and sisters, 